Well, I didn't find a default, or I didn't find a duplicate, but I did find a recipe that I don't need anymore. So, there you go. Uh, so let's just turn. Let's just teach the system how to. Oh wait, that means the system needs to know how to make mana pylons as well. Oh boy, time to look. Oh wait, I can I can get rid of this as well. So uh, yeah. Um, mana pylon. Boom. All right. So that'll do. Uh, now there's the empty slot. So let's see. And then we needed the complex arcane mechanism, which I don't know, let's say complex. I can go. Uh, I can go into the uh, the arcane crafting engine. No problem. And then, let's see. Um, I might as well. Uh, let's see. Is there anything in the? Is there anything in the complex arcane uh, in the arcane crafting engine that I uh, that I'm already auto crafting? Uh, probably simple. Let's see. Simple. What? Okay. So, hmm. So item input. Oh, okay, so that's empty, and I do need simple arcane mechanisms. So, I'm gonna need to teach, uh, gonna need to teach the system how to do simple arcane mechanisms as well. Awesome. All right. So that would be the item input. All right, and let's see. That needs. Yeah, so I need aluminum brass and thomium plates. So brass plate can be made in the pressurizer. Okay, so brass. Oh, I do know brass plates already. Uh, how about thomium plates? Okay, uh, I'm good. So then it's wait. What else do I need for this that the system does not know? Terra steel nuggets. All right, uh, terra steel nuggets, pixie dust. I'll see. So, yeah, tear still not. Uh, God, tear still. All right. Um, I may just have to. Uh, I may just have to say screw it and uh, just make another uh, make another block of molecular assemblers. But I'll see. Uh, I'll be I'll be back as soon as I find something. Maybe I'm just gonna get rid of the connector recipes because these these don't really work all that well anyway. So. Uh, yeah, well, actually, actually, it's just a, it's just an issue of, uh, it's just an issue of MBT data, but you know what I mean. So let's see, Ben, it's wait, what am I, what am I missing for this again? Um, let's see. So I was missing tear steel nuggets. Okay, perfect. So I could just teach, I can just teach. Let's see. I'm going to teach Terra Steel Nuggets really dang quickly. And I'm going to need to find that gap again. There it is. That was easy. All right. Um, uh, so then, let's see. Pixie Dust and Colored Lenses are easy to teach. So, Pixie. All right, so that would go with the Elementium and the Dragonstone, which also means I need to uh, I need to tell the I need to tell the uh, the vacuum chest over here to expect pixie dust. Oh my god! And I also need the closed project intelligence right there. There you go. So now that's expecting pixie dust. Um, let's see. And then the, let's say, spectral. So colored lens spectral would be this. All right, uh, so that would go with the illumination powder recipe. So boom. Okay. Uh, then we're missing glass lenses. Really? We're missing glass lenses? 
kidding. All right, so that's a startling infuser recipe. Uh, so we'll go with the resonating gems. Does the system know how to make glass panes? Yes, perfect. Okay, uh, Benetoit. What don't you know? Uh, you don't know Gaia Spirits, which is expected. Uh, you don't know Charging Runes. You don't know Acceleration Runes. You don't know Ethereal Slates. You don't know Draft Evangelist. Okay, well, Draft Evangelist is going to be... Uh, uh, the Draft Evangelist is going to be quite a pain. Uh, uh, well, let's just... Let's just do this. Uh, so Draft of Angelus, uh, Charging Rune, Acceleration Rune, and Ethereal Slate. Those are the things that it doesn't know yet. I mean, I would have to get auto crafting for Blood Magic up and running. And I also need to, uh, I also need to get auto crafting of Cake. Wouldn't you expect it? Nah, wait, wouldn't expect it. I need auto crafting of freaking Cake. All right, so heavy cream needs milk, dude. Okay, the regular vanilla cake unfortunately does need milk. So, yeah, let's see if I can find something that doesn't require a lot of a lot of stuff. Oh. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to get a few more molecular assemblers, because I think I've maxed. Yeah, I've maxed this out, unfortunately. So, ugh, yay, yay! Just more, more molecular assemblers. When I wasn't really thinking about having more molecular assemblers. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Uh, so this needs Demonic, which is Tier 4. Acceleration also needs Demonic. So I'm, as far as I know, I don't need to autocraft... I don't need to autocraft any more than Demonic or Ethereal. So I'm... So I basically just need to set up autocrafting for the Blood Altar, which is... Dude. Why? All right. Yeah, so autocrafting for the blood altar is okay. Well, hold on, orb, because I do need a, I do need a. Let's see, blood orb. I uh, can I make the? Uh, I need a guy spirit. Okay, so I only have one guy spirit, which means I need to dupe this. So how do I dupe this? Uh, of course. Of freaking course, I need a freaking course. I need, uh, I need the the other will crystals. Okay. So basically, I need basically I need to I need to generate wills and then use the then use that freaking. There's some. Re what are you? Huh. What is that skeleton firing at? All right. Um, is this claimed, by the way? Uh, let's see. Uh, not quite all of it. I should probably claim this chunk as well. All right, that should be fine. Uh, but yeah, I I really need I need to figure out Gaia spirits. Um, also, let's. Uh, I might want to check on this. There's a lot of stuff in here. So I I changed this to a crate, and, and just because like and just because like between segments uh, when I was trying to get more, I was trying to get more stuff. Uh, let's see. So redstone, hey, redstone's doing fine. Diamonds, diamonds are doing good as well. So when I was trying to get when I was trying to get redstone and diamonds between segments. Uh, yeah, my uh, my my drawer or my uh, crate filled up with ores that weren't exactly like needed. So yeah, that's uh, oh boy. Um, but yeah, I need to I need to get I need to I need to figure out the 
I need to figure out the uh, the the will crystal things. Uh, no, that's open blocks. Uh, where's thing with Scientium? There it is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to think. Of, I'm gonna need to figure this out. So let's see. I'll bear back. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really need the crafters in here. Uh, like the cra uh, the crafter tiers, you know. So yeah, I don't really need these. I can just I can just put that there. That would be that would be a good idea, right? I think so. If I if I end up needing crafter tier threes, then uh, yeah. So I and uh, so I I did a little bit of research about what I need to do. I need two rituals: gathering of the forsaken souls and resonance of the faceted crystal. So, Gathering the Forsaken Souls will basically kill any mobs in a 27 block radius, then generate, well, then, like, add a spire to a nearby uh, Demon Well Crystal. And uh, Resonance of the Faceted Crystal will, uh, that, uh, that basically splits the base Demon Well Crystal into the four, into the four different, uh, into the four different ones that I need. Corrosive, Destructive, Steadfast, and Vengeful. So that uh, that is the way to get uh, that is the way to do it. So uh, that's uh, that's the way to get uh, get that stuff. So I would I'm also going to need to make a demon crystallizer and a demon crucible. So this needs 400 uh, this needs 400 and this needs 500. Where's my tartaric gem? Uh that is an empty one. I'm guessing I'm guessing the one that has will in it is down here. All right, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to go uh, hunting for some mobs. Uh, well, I'm gonna need to hunt for some well. So uh, back in a bit. All right, I, I, I have enough. Uh, I have enough in order to get these two crafts done. So let's see what I need to do here. Demon Crucible needs stone, diamond, lapis, and a cauldron. All right. Let's see, uh, stone. Diamond, a lapis, and a cauldron. Luckily, I can craft cauldrons. So there you go. And put this back. And that should be the demon crucible. Crucible, yep. Demon crucible, check. So then demon crystallizer needs a hellfire forge. All right, well, I'm gonna need to make another Hellfire Forge, which needs more Arcane Stone. Um, luckily, I just programmed the recipe to make Arcane Stone. So, there you go. Uh, then we're gonna need a block of Mana Steel, some Alchemical Brass. Uh, mana Steel. Nine of those. There we go. Brass. Alchemical Brass, thank you. And Stardust. Which I should have plenty of. All right, another Hellfire Forge. Then we're gonna need Stone, Glass, and Lapis. Stone, Glass, Lapis. There we go. And that should be the Demon Crystallizer. Perfect. All right, so because this kills mobs in a pretty large radius, well, because the ritual I wanna do kills mobs in a pretty large radius, I'm probably not gonna wanna do it here because this is my, because this is my Well of Suffering area. Um, I'm probably gonna wanna do it like maybe over here. Like, why not? I mean, uh, um, yeah, probably over here. This this would probably be the best place for it. Maybe, hmm. I actually have no idea. I mean, I guess I guess here is fine. Just uh, you know, just put uh, just uh, just put another mob farm over here, and uh, 
put a ritual that kills uh, put a ritual that kills mobs here and uh yeah there you go all right so the demon crucible will dump will into a chunk and the demon crystallizer will well crystallize that will but uh before I can actually do any uh, before I can actually do anything with that I need to make some reinforced slates that's I need a lot of them for both of these rituals uh, 72 total because I need to make the masters uh, I need to make two master ritual stones as well so yeah it's one to one so I need 72 of these so uh that's gonna take a little bit of time uh I'll be, I'll be back in a while you know I just thought of this but uh what happens if I use my sacrificial dagger while I'm wearing the draconic armor oh it still takes health <laughs> how clever how very clever, way of time. It still takes health when I'm wearing draconic armor. <laughs> I was not, I was expect, I was expecting, I was expecting like, I was expecting my armor to take the damage. Not me, but uh, he thought of that. And uh, yeah, you can't, you can't get around that. You can't get around. You can't get around taking damage because uh, you can't get around taking damage just because you're using draconic armor and you want to use self-sacrifice for <laughs> for the blood altar. You can't get around it. Yeah, I'm gonna need to come back. You know, it's kind of funny. The weak blood shard has no crafting recipe, yet you need a lot of these. I think uh, because these make large bloodstone tiles, which is required in order to make blood tanks, which is needed to make the acceleration rune. Yeah, a little funny how that works, isn't it? Hmm. So there is one more thing that I need to figure out what to do. I need to figure out how to automate this dang thing. The alchemy table is needed. Well, uh, you need to automate the alchemy table because reasons so this is gonna be man this is gonna be fun so basically alchemy table you need to be automated somehow uh i actually don't even know how uh, i actually don't even know how the uh how item routing works with this uh item duct i guess uh, i guess well I'm, uh, well it looks like i can Hmm, looks like I can pump into the sides. I can also pump into the top for some reason. Can I? Yeah, it looks like you can looks like you can interface with a lot of sides here. So hmm. what's up with that? Uh, let's just I heard a witch. Alright, let's see. Item uh, servo, actually. So let's put this nature chest here and just figure out now let's just figure out how item routing works for this because if it, if it works the way I think it does then uh, if it works the way I think it does then the sides are the inputs so let's just put six different items in here and see what happens so how about these things yeah sides are inputs perfect so Okay, so then how do you get items out? And also, also, what's what's up with the interfacing on the top? Hmm. Let's just disconnect one of these sides and try again and see what happens. Wait. Huh? Hang on, hang on a second. Where did that... That's interesting. So, huh? Why is why is that a thing? So apparently, apparently, all the items could go into one side, and hmm. Interesting. How about round? How about I do round robin? Let's do round robin one, 
And let's see what happens when I try to put a couple pieces of wheat in here. Okay, that does not work the way I thought it would. So, yay. Auto crafting is going to be a pain for this thing. Because how do you auto craft? Eh, how do you auto craft plant? Eh, how do you auto craft plant oil? Eh, so, hmm. Plant oil. Yeah. How do you how do you auto craft this? Because it needs three identical items. It, it needs three identical items, but each side of this can it can reference one side in the alchemy table. Hmm. And I mean, setting that, setting that to, right, setting, uh, setting that side, uh, wait, setting that thing to, uh, uh, to round robin didn't help. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I really need to figure this thing out. It's just like, how do you, how do you auto craft with this thing? Unfortunately, my research has turned up next to nothing for this thing. So I'm going to have to look about, uh, I'm gonna have to look at this between episodes and figure out how in the world am I supposed to, uh, how in the world am I supposed to, uh, how in the world am I supposed to automate plant oil, well, automate the draft of Andalus with this thing because I do need a lot of draft of Andalus just to get some Benetoit. Yeah, that's, the, oh boy. I mean, Benetoit is you, oh boy. I need twenty. Of, I need twenty Benetoit for uh, for the creative mana tablet, or and and the and the everlasting guilty pool. Ooh. I also need a, uh, I also need guy spirit ingots. Oh boy. So four Kekimurises, Gormorillus, Entropinium, Munchdu, Narslimus, guy spirit ingots, Shardalapusha, Mirian, fabulous mana pools. I have a bunch of fabulous mana pools. Okay, so it's yeah, basically, basically, I'm not, I'm not totally sure how I'm going to automate Draft Evangelist because because the auto crafting for plant oil is so weird. Like, I don't even know how this is supposed to happen. Like, are you kidding me? All right, so wait, Draft of Angelus is a tier three. Okay. And then duplicating Gaia Spirits is tier four. Needs a hundred thousand LP though. Okay. Okay, that's I mean that's fine. Just yeah, we can I can do it. But yeah, um maybe I'm thinking I'm thinking I should just cut here because uh you know. Alright, all right, guys, that'll do it for this episode of Ang Back at 2 Expert Mode. I hope you guys enjoyed getting started on some progress for the creative power cell. Stay tuned next time. We're going to be uh, doing a bit more magic automation to get some more components for that power cell. And maybe maybe try to get started with some, uh, some of the fission fuels. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later. Later.